Today, I would like to share with you three stories about change I experienced working as an English teaching volunteer in Cambodia. The first story is about the change from the unexpected. Two years ago, as an English teaching volunteer, I went to a hot, humid, and isolated Cambodia village school named Po with dirt roads in the middle of the jungle. It was recovering from a long civil war which resulted in decades of destruction and isolation. This school offered free education to those who could not afford the tuition. And more than 400 students went to this school every day to have English classes taught by the volunteers. The students came from nearby five villages with an age from 6 to 15. It was my first time to go to a remote village abroad, and it was completely different from what you expected from traveling abroad, in that we could live in a five-star hotel, taste delicious local foods, and take a taxi or luxury bus to go to tourist attractions. Volunteering meant that I had to share the sleeping quarters with someone I didn't know, and I needed to eat in a way that was completely the opposite to what my taste buds were used to. I grew up in Beijing, and I am accustomed to eating food made out of wheat. And the flavors of them are plain and light. While the staple food in Cambodia is rice, and they like to use all kinds of spicy and salty seasonings. Cambodia is a tropical country. Even in the winter, the weather is still very hot and steamy. This is the house where we live. It was the best house in the village because the local people provided the best house to the volunteers to express their gratitude. It was a small and lovely cottage built from woods. There was no air conditioning, only one fan with the temperature hot enough to cook an egg on the ground. And six volunteers shared a room by bunk beds. In the middle of the night, I was always awoken by a cloud of mosquitoes or the snores of my roommates. Sometimes when I when I opened my eyes in the early morning, I would see a lizard crawling along the wall near my bed. Although I was fully aware of the tough situation and carefully prepared for this experience, I was still struggling for the first two days because I could not adapt to the current situation. I needed a goal. I then initiated a small change for myself every day. That is, I must learn a simple sentence in Cambodia language. I started from morning and then thank you to good night. I persisted until I left there. This small change not only helped me to immerse with the local culture and got to know with the local people, but it also gave me a strong implication that I could transform myself. The things that I learned from the struggle is that no matter how well we planned, how organized we are, something unexpected is always promised to come. So don't complain about the unexpected. Be always ready to greet the surprise and try hard to adapt and embrace change. The second story is about the change with the help of others. As an English teaching volunteer, my job was to lead the children to read aloud the English text. However, when I stood in front of the classroom and every children's eyes were fixed on me, I was too nervous to look back at them. So I lowered my head and it seems that I want to bury my head into the textbook. My face turned red, my heart pounded, my hands became clammy, and my legs started shaking. My voice was too low 
to be heard clearly. I wanted to just disappear. I was ashamed because I could not accomplish my job successfully. I learned from this experience that I must change myself. Not only for, not only might I lose a job, but I had to do this for myself and the students I was charged to teach. So I dug deep, swallowed my pride, and asked for help from the other volunteers. And they were very glad to help me. So every evening after the class, I will practice my rehearsal again and again. I will stand in front of the classroom and practice my rehearsal in front of the volunteers. And they gave me many comments and suggestions regarding my eye contact, body language, facial expressions, and voice inflection. I really appreciated their support. They don't know how much they've helped me to grow and how their patient encouragement modeled the teacher I wanted to be. The confidence that I earned in a small and remote Cambodia classroom is the reason why I can stand on this stage today and share my experience with you. Sometimes you felt alone and helpless when you try so hard to adapt and change. Know that you are not alone and there's always someone else to help you. When the helping hand is extended, grab it and don't let go. My third story is about passing on the change. The students were grouped into different classes based on their English level. And the levels ranged from the beginners to the advanced class. And I helped with the beginners class. There are some students from the advanced class who had a really good English skills. And I got to know a 17-year-old teenager from the advanced class who had got his free education in this school for five years. He came from a local poor family and had another seven siblings and brothers. He said he got a huge benefit from this English class and he wanted to go to the college located in the Cambodia capital. After graduation, he will return back to his hometown to be an English teacher. He believed that a teacher was a very honorable and respectful job. He wanted to help the children of his own hometown to be educated, just like the volunteers helped him to learn English. The small actions from different volunteers changed a person's destiny and inspired his life ambition. The small changes passed from one person to another will eventually make a big difference for those forgotten little ones in the isolated village in the middle of the jungle. While the change passed from one person to another may seem slight, the ripple effects of those small changes have enormous impacts. So when you walk out of this room today, bear in mind that the smallest changes will lead to big differences for yourself, the community, the country, and the whole world. Thank you.